check out this episode of Cutting Edge Health, Preventing Cognitive Decline. People seem to think that cognitive decline is a natural part of aging, and it is not. Doctors still tell patients with Alzheimer's that there's nothing they can do for them. My mother was told that as I sat beside her. Dr. Dale Bredesen changed all that. I already had subjective cognitive impairment, SCI as it's called, or memory loss, at 54 years old, the same age as my father's symptoms, and he later passed with Alzheimer's. I was scared, and Dr. Bredesen provided a lifeline. I did everything his New York Times bestselling book, The End of Alzheimer's, said to do, and it worked. In addition to this book, he's authored two more, The End of Alzheimer's Program and The Survivors of Alzheimer's. Research funding. You're in the middle of research. What's wrong with yeah. our research funding today for Alzheimer's? Well, yeah. <laughs> do so, I have all night? Well, <laughs> Hours to yeah. talk about it, probably. Well, unfortunately, the system is kind of broken in this area because what happens we, everyone started out years ago with a very positive attitude. We're going to figure out this disease and we're going to develop something for it. But, but now what's happened is it's become political. It's become financial. People are basing their whole careers and all of their finances. You know, this, as you know, uh, this is a, if you get a drug that actually works for Alzheimer's, this is going to be a multiple hundred billion dollar drug. So for aducanumab, $28 billion was spent to develop this. And so no surprise, doctors are being paid as consultants to say that it's a good drug when everybody knows it's not. And in fact, the panel, uh, the, the expert panel that wasn't being paid to say that it was a good drug um, said that it was not a good drug. So this is the problem. And, and unfortunately, um, re the, when you have peer review of research, you're being reviewed by your competitors. And the competitors who are interested in going the way that we're going, which hasn't resulted in anything positive, are going to continue to support going in the same direction. So for anyone to say, no, that's the wrong way to go, we're going to have to go in a new direction, uh, that's not going to get funding. Um, it, as you know, people tend to bet on the horses after they finish the, finish the across the finish line. Uh, so we do need to have some way to support novel research 